Yo, okay, this guy here. What's going on, on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about the AVM 70, and specifically the room correction, the arc room correction. Now I'm super excited to get into this because this is my first time ever dabbling into the world of Anthem and also my first time ever dabbling into the world of the room correction. If you're not familiar with Anthem, they have one of the most world-renowned room correction that you can use and they've even made it better for 2021. So today we're going to go in together for my first time and talk about it but there are a few things that I want to do first. So on the main menus of the AVR you are able to kind of set things the way you want to kind of out of the box without calibration. So for me, I wanted to first make sure that all my speakers were connected correctly. So I went in and did a little test tone and made sure that all my speakers were not only playing, but they were the right speakers were playing at the right time. So I went in here and made sure that all was correct. And it was. So once you have all that set up correctly, this is where you want to start beginning to set up your Anthem processor for calibration. The first thing you want to do first and foremost is find your laptop or there is a mobile app you can use and you want to get ready to set calibration up. You want to put the microphone right where it needs to be in its listening position ear level and then plug the microphone up to a laptop or something of the sort and then fire up your downloaded website for, from Anthem to get started with your room correction. So if you haven't been following the channel, I just purchased the Anthem AVM70, their 15.2 channel preprocessor. And there's a few bugs going on with it, but finally we can now go in and use Anthem Room Correction, which I'm super excited to use. I've been familiar with Odyssey, I've used Pioneer's MCACC, I've used, um, what's that, y Yamaha's YPOW. And so I'm really excited to kind of step into a new realm here. So here's what we got going on first. So when you first set up your ARC, Genesis, when you first get on to the website, it's going to ask you how you want to kind of configure your system. So for me right now, I'm running a 5.2.4. So that's five main speakers on the floor, two subwoofers, and then four speakers above head for Dolby Atmos. So I'm going to go in and set that right now. So as you can see on height one, I'm able to choose different placements for my height speakers. In my case, mine are on the front wall. They're not on the ceiling because I'm in an apartment, but I have them on the top of the wall. So I'm going to select that for both my front and for my rear. Now you can see when you select different things, you can see them on the picture themselves. Um, so you're actually able to um, visually have a diagram of what your layout looks like so that you know exactly what you're doing. So I'm going to set my height to, so that's going to be my rear Dolby Atmos, to back on wall because those are also on the wall as well. Now moving over here to the right side of the screen, this is where you're able to kind of fine tune what your system's gonna be like. So I'm gonna name mine AVM1 and you're able to do different type of positions up to 10. I'm gonna do five, there's not too much space in my room right now so I don't need more than five. I may not even need five but we're gonna have to choose that. Now if you scroll down a little bit, you're able to turn on or off what speakers you're going to be using. Now again, this is up to a 15.2 channel preprocessor, so I can technically run 15 speakers in here if I'd like to. So for me, like I said, I'm running a 5.2.4, so that's going to be my fronts, my center, my surrounds, my height 1, and height 2. And those are the speakers that I'm going to be using, so I turned those on and they're highlighted in green. Now down here, you're able to kind of add more measurements. Maybe you want different profiles. So you can actually have more measurements depending on your room's seating position. Maybe sometimes you sit in a sweet spot, but maybe sometimes you sit off in the lounging chair, the rocking chair off to the side. So you have different uh, measurements you can take for whatever seat you're gonna be sitting in. Um, so I'm actually going to turn another one on and I'm gonna make this AVM uh, two. And this is going to be my two channel setup. So when I want to listen to music with my subwoofers off, only my front two speakers, I have a profile for that. Now, you probably could just go in and turn off your other speakers in the setting system, but I'm actually going to make a profile. So it's just a click of a button. I can switch from home theater mode to two channel stereo mode with no subwoofers. I like to listen to my music without subwoofers on my Cantons. So after you've configured your setup and you have the amp processor ready to go, it's gonna ask you to plug in your Anthem microphone that you get provided in the box. Now this plugs in not directly to the unit itself, it plugs into the laptop itself. And then the Wi-Fi that's set on the laptop is the same Wi-Fi set on the preprocessor so it can communicate. Once it detects your microphone through the USB, you'll just select it and then you're about to be fired up and ready to go. 
So right now, we're getting ready to allow it to do its calibration, starting off with the fretless speaker. So the diagram goes in and shows not only what speaker it's currently um, correcting, what, what it's measuring, but it shows you on the graph what it measures. So you can see the peaks and the knolls that that certain speaker has and how loud a certain frequency is as well. So it's very nice to have a nice little diagram so you can visually see what your room is doing to your sound. And then you can see what Anthem is gonna try to apply correction to. As you see here, for every speaker that it measures, it shows you the graph of its frequency ranges and the peaks and nulls that that speaker has. And then on the bottom of the screen, it has a little key for you guys so you know what speaker is which color. So front left is blue, center is, is green, front right is red, so on and so forth. So you can see on that graph exactly what's going on in the room. Now this is good for multiple reasons. One, it's good because you can go in and see exactly what the room's doing to your speaker. You can see what frequencies has a null, what frequencies have a peak. Peak meaning that there's a big boost in that certain frequency. A null means there's a lack of volume in that certain frequency. So this is allowing me to go in and see exactly what's going on. So I won't make you sit here and go through all five positions, but this is pretty much what you can expect it to do. And I'm really happy with what I'm seeing out of the Anthem root correction already because it's taken its time, especially on the subwoofers, which is arguably the hardest one to tune to your room. The bass frequencies are so hard to manage. It really takes its time on the subwoofers and make sure it gets it right. It does a lot to the subwoofer. It doesn't just change the volume level or set the crossover, but it sets the phase, sets delay, and make sure that it's complementing your front speakers, not uh, canceling each other out. So I really appreciate the emphasis that it has on the subwoofers especially. Now, once you're done with calibration, you're able to go in and kind of either upload it to your device, being your Anthem processor or the receiver you have, or you can go in and kind of see what it did first. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in and we're gonna review what it did here. So we're gonna click on review. The green line is what it was able to do. So again, the red line shows you what that certain, that certain speaker did in the room. The black line is what was ideal, and then the green line was what actually happened. So you can see how much Anthem tried to flatten out that response. Now it's always best not to boost frequencies to make up for a null because you can't. You'll end up destroying your speakers trying to boost frequencies, but it's always better to bring frequencies down to the lower one. So you can see on the subwoofers here, they have a really big peak and a really big null at around 120 hertz. And that's where I have my subs crossed over to. But Anthem was able to kind of smooth that response out. So it was able to kind of boost a little bit on the 120 hertz, kind of get that valley out of there. And then there were some peaks in the frequency too that it was able to kind of knock down. So it did that to all of my speakers, all speakers that are being used. It was able to kind of flatten that response out and make sure that everything's playing around the same dB level. Now, the arc room correction is very intuitive and it can really get down to the nitty gritty. And for me, personally, I'm not yet comfortable with going in and playing with these settings. I don't know exactly what they do or what they mean. So I'm gonna have to do some research on my own and figure out what all this is telling me. And once I know, then I'll be able to go in and decide what I wanna change. So we won't too much get into this just yet. We'll come back to that um, in a later video. Let me get time to kind of play with it and listen to it and learn a little bit more about it. And then I can go back and educate everybody else. So we'll skip past this stuff for now and move on to the review summary and upload. All right, so once you're done, you're able to go to the top left of the screen and click upload to your device. So this syncs up the process from your computer and sends it over to the AVM70 in my case, or you may have an MRX uh, amplifier. But this is where all your connections and everything will be done. Um, what's really cool about this, after you've uploaded it from the computer, you're actually able to go back to the preprocessor and make certain changes too. You can go in straight from the LCD screen and change bass management, change crossovers, change volume levels, all that good stuff here. So if you wanna change something basic like that, you don't have to come back to your laptop or the mobile device that you're using and tweak it. You can do a lot of things right there on the screen or from the remote so you don't have to dig into the files again. 
Now, this allows you to save target curves and stuff like that. So let's say you maybe mess something up, you can go back and upload what you had before. Or you can have multiple different room corrections if you want to, and it all just saves right there to the website. So it's really intuitive and pretty simple and easy to use. So I'm super excited to get into it. All right guys, so there you have it for the Anthem room correction. I wanted just to go in there and let it do what it wanted to do and then not touch it. I wanna give it its best chance to, to, to perform and see what it can do. And then later on, if I find something that I don't like, we can go back in and change it. Now again, this is my first time ever using uh, Anthem room correction, so I don't wanna go in and start messing with a whole bunch of features and settings before I get a chance to see what it does itself. I wanna give myself time to learn what's going on and do my own research so that when I do go in to tweak, I know what I'm messing with or what I don't wanna mess with. So that's kinda what I wanted to get accomplished with this video. So over time, we'll watch different movies and we'll listen to different kinds of music and we'll see what I think about it. And again, you saw that I made two profiles. I made one for, for movies and I made one for two channel listening. So we'll sit down and really listen to what it did and then we'll go back together and see um, what we can fix and maybe things that I don't like, what why I changed it, stuff like that. So. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of Anthem Room Correction. Um, and if you think you like it, let me know that as well down below in the comment section. Hit that like button if, and subscribe if you're not already. We will see you in the next video. Okay, this guy out. Peace.